Welcome to Historical. My name is David, and this week I am joined once again by Big Daddy Momo. And we basically talk about whatever. There's no historical topic involved, really, unless it just comes up by chance. But we'll just go right into it. Here it is. Uh, back to it again, second Let's time on the show. It. Round two. No, <laughs> Round it's, two. it's great. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, it was. Uh, no, I think the first time it was, it went really well. So, you yeah. know, I'm glad might you as well that. do another one. So, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what was that? I was like, oh, I'm glad you think so. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> Oh yeah, but um, so uh, what's new? I saw like so I guess since last time you've been on the show was mm. you went to Mexico. You I did. I went to Guadalajara. Uh, very uh, apparently a risky move as a female traveler. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Not as bad as Vietnam though. No, actually Guadalajara was nice. Guadalajara was nice. Vietnam was, was a little crazy. What was a solo? Yeah, you... yeah. All my travels oh. are solo. I don't. Oh, I don't tie shit. myself with people. <laughs> oh damn! Well, that's that's interesting. <laughs> It's That's really cool, though. I've noticed that if you travel with people, you're going to... It's hard. It's really difficult. Like, even people who are in relationships and travel, they tend to argue. And so even when I when I was solo traveling and I meet people who are traveling together, even as friends, they're always there's always some sort of fight going on. Because everyone's going to be wanting to do something different at some point. And traveling is difficult when you have to, like handle a lot of like external factors and new environments and then deal with someone else's mood and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like it can be good, but sometimes you just want to do your own thing. So for the sake of like your relationships and friendships, just do it. So like like meet them there, but then like continue on your own path. So like, you know what I mean? For sure. Like that's actually like actually a really good idea, you know, like, cause too, you know, then like you're saying, like, you know, you're not tied, you know, like being tied to somebody, you know, then, yeah, you're kind of at the whims of like, okay, yeah. is this person going to want to do this or that? And yeah, that can be, that can be tough. You know, um, it, it, like my, uh, I, my roommate, Jason, like I've done some, he used to be on the show and did the podcasting mm-hmm. and stuff with us. Um, he, uh, and I have done some road tripping together and nice. like, he's honestly a really good sport about all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, of I'm going to do any traveling. It's like doing it with him. It's like, it's actually been, uh, you know, like there's no headaches, you know I mean? He's right. not a source of, you know what I mean? The frustrate, you know, we probably, you know, it, it's tough because it's road tripping, you know what I mean? So we're trading off the, the, mm-hmm. the duties and, um, but you know what I mean? Like, that's really, uh, how really far, nice. So like, how far was the road trip? Like how many hours? So we did, uh, we went to the, we've done a, two of them, but one of them, the longer one was to the Grand Canyon and to oh, Las wow. Vegas. So yeah, we, that was like, we split that one up on the way out there. I think it was like four, four, eight hour shifts oh, of my driving. God. So I drove from, uh, from Virginia to Tennessee, like Nashville. And then we trade off in Nashville. He drove from Nashville to, I think somewhere in Texas, maybe um Same. or arkansas i think maybe it was like arkansas but i took over and like drove us to texas yeah and you know he yeah. took us to the grand canyon and then to uh las vegas so that's what i um, wish the one thing like when i noticed anywhere i went it, you know traveling is so accessible except the u.s which is so frustrating to me like i would love to go to the grand canyon but there's i don't have i really it's hard for me to find all my friends are like pretty much married and have kids. So like it's who I'm like, Hey, you know, you want to, you want to do a road trip for, I don't know, 24 hours. Like they're not, no one's available to do that. So, and there's no like trains or anything. And then flights are so expensive. Like it's not accessible. Like it, like when I went, for example, from Thailand to Vietnam, the ticket was like $60 to go from Thailand to Vietnam to get to Thailand is expensive. But once you're there, like in Asia, moving around is so cheap. For example, like whereas here it's like if you look for flights anywhere, it's just so expensive. Oh, flying for sure, you know, and that's the thing is like well, when we did these road trips, you know, I, I rented the car, so like you know we could put all the abuse on like a different vehicle, you know what I mean? It's not yeah. putting it on on something we own, right? Yeah. And yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. if it's a rental car, it's like you know probably pretty well maintained. Although I have to say, the second time the Vegas trip, like they gave us a fucking car that needed an oil change, like it's like we were like two hours into the trip and it like popped up, it was like change the oil soon it was like well fuck all right so now yeah. we're gonna be getting awful gas uh mileage on this thing yeah. so yeah uh no but it was a 
on the way back from Vegas, it was we did it instead of four eights, we did three twelves. <laughs> oh my! Uh, you, you guys were done. You ready to go home? <laughs> I was. I did. I did the two twelve. I did two twelve. So I did the first twelve and the third twelve, and like I was, because you know, honestly, the, the that. The Did you like sec- snort coke to get through? I'm just like, <laughs> well, see the, the second twelve hours. Like I was trying to sleep, and you know, think twelve hours, you probably get enough time to sleep in there. I was like, I don't know, man. Like <laughs> it was probably rough. I probably got four or five hours out of that entire time, you know. Um, but you know, we just put on we put on podcasts, you know, put on audio books. There's all sorts of things. I think uh, we listened to like you know like a full on a. Uh, you yeah. know audio like book of or uh the the hardcore history by like dan carlin like he's yeah. so he's fantastic um i don't know if you've heard those but like he's like goes there's long so it's like perfect for like if we're yeah, on the road for like you know i just yeah. i feel like my eyes would get heavy like i just try and imagine oh, sitting there and you're just like oh like just seeing like an endless road in front of you yeah and you do kind of get in this sort of they call i think like hypno road hypnosis or some shit yeah, there's some like term for it Almost. Yeah, where you yeah, you just seeing the road, the constant movement, like when you get out of the car, it's like uh, I don't know if you ever played Guitar Hero, but like I think there Maybe, is a yeah. phenomenon with that. It's like if you play that game for like too long, the constant notes moving towards you, if you right. like look away from the screen, it like your vision's kind of it messes yeah, it with kind your, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It plays and it's a similar you. effect um right, when you're right. driving for that long. So yeah, um that right. uh the second twelve, I can't remember. One of the road trips, I think that there was one we we just went out to Colorado. I think uh, just you know passing through, hit up some of the dispensaries. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> and uh, the, uh, uh, the I went from I can't remember if I was driving. I think we traded off. I think I drove from Colorado and then like thirteen hours, like into Kansas, like um, on the way back to Virginia, and like that 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 section that i drove like i was just wiped out like i had been yeah with 13 hours like that was my limit like i was starting to just it's too much feel like the you know the yeah. road the, the tired like because yeah, honestly yeah. i'm pretty i'm pretty good at it through most of the drives uh through most of those uh uh sections but like that that one in particular i remember feeling it and having had to ha- get jason to take over because I think I was trying to make it, you know, like maybe get a little bit more. Hard, and I, yeah. I was like, no, 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 don't risk it. You know what I mean? Because like, exactly. I have, he can take over and like, you know, so yeah. anyway, uh, yeah, but the, the, those are fun. Those are fun experiences. Um, you know, and like, I, but like, I honestly, I can't imagine doing that with anybody else, but like him, because like we both kind of under maybe understand each other and are the things that stress us out and stuff like that um, more than other people where it's like, you know yeah i feel like other people if i was on the road with somebody else um you know i maybe they a lot of other people might be complain a lot more like have a lot more yeah. accommodations they would want or different things right. and like yeah and so it's like i feel like jason and i were just on the same page with a lot of yeah. the things like yeah. um so he and th- thankfully maybe maybe he's not and he just like bottles it all up i don't know but like if he if he is though like you know he's a good sport about it so at least so it's like that's what's uh really good about traveling with him but um but no i totally get what you're saying like about in terms of like doing stuff overseas and like mm-hmm. you know so many people have yeah different sensibilities about what they want to do and yeah, yeah being tied down like to be like okay i want to go see this or go see the show or like go experience this thing yeah. and somebody's like ah oh, yeah god that sounds boring it's like yeah. dude because like me i like history stuff so it's like i would want to go see some fucking monuments or go see some right. old shit that right, like right, people right. be like why are we gonna go see this old right. fucking right. this is boring and i'm like dude well because yeah. like you're only gonna be here this one time and like exactly. you know you never exactly. know yeah. when this might pop up or become relevant right you know right to you like and you don't want to be sitting there being like, oh, I could have gone and saw that fucking historic exactly. thing. Like exactly. it comes up. I don't yeah, know. You have to be a little bit selfish when you travel. Be a little open minded. You know? and, and a little bit selfish because then it's like if you he, what if what if you are with someone and they're like, oh, I don't want to do that. Do you compromise something you really want to go see for someone else? Do you know right. what I mean? Like, like, no, I'm not. I'm going to do what I like. It's too bad. Like, you don't have to come with me. But then you don't know if the other person is going to feel a certain type of way or take it personally. Right. Like, for me, I wouldn't ever take anything like that personally. But not everyone can, like, feel or process that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's always better to just do things. I don't know. Would you ever do a solo travel? 
Uh, well, see, that's the thing. It's like I'm not sure because, like, honestly, part of part of what I enjoy about traveling is like ha- maybe maybe that makes me like maybe I guess an extrovert, maybe in some sort of mm-hmm. way where it's like having the external, having other people with me to experience the thing with. Yeah, I don't know. It's like kind of maybe enhances it for me. But then, like well, you're saying, yeah. May- but if I do that maybe i go overseas and travel with somebody and it's a fucking nightmare and then i'm like okay yeah like so well, you have me thinking about it now like maybe i should maybe i probably when you're solo I'm... traveling you meet a lot of people like yeah you're never alone so an idea of like oh you know i want to have people you are going to have way too many people to experience <laughs> <laughs> like that is actually yeah. when i was there was a point where i was like i'm just around people like my social meter is so i'm completely wiped out i need a minute by myself and i just like go and get like a massage or just get away from everyone mm-hmm. because especially when you're staying in hostels everyone is a so most people are solo travelers so then you just yeah. group up and you go do stuff constantly so you're not you're not like completely alone and you meet a, you're not alone in a sense where like, you're not going to have anyone to experience stuff with. You'll have a ton of people, too many actually people to experience stuff with, but you don't have the obligation to like be around someone specific all the time. Yeah. Um, and so that's nice where it's like, and, and then you meet, it's, it's, it's cool because that's, you know, when I, when I told, this was my first solo when I went last year. My dad almost had a heart attack when I told him. <laughs> He's like, you're going to Asia alone as a female? What are you talking about? And because, I mean, he he's he's a little, you know, older in his generation. He doesn't really know anyone that's done something, anything like that. I've, like, read it so much and I've seen so much and I've heard about other, some of my friends who've been and all this stuff. So I have more of an idea. But he was like, you're going to be alone. You're going to be alone. It's going to be dangerous. And yeah, there is an aspect to that. Like when I was in Vietnam, I was in a dangerous situation. But most of the time, like most of the time, it was actually pretty, pretty decent because you're not actually really alone. So that was that was cool. Like it, it's you meet a lot of people organically, which is probably my favorite part, because I don't feel like I meet people organically here in the US. Mm-hmm. Like I just don't like it's it, or if you're not traveling, because I feel like if you're how like how do people meet organically now? Like you just don't how, like where, where is the time that you meet someone organically outside of post graduating college, for example, or if you didn't go to college in high school, you know? Yeah. I mean, you know, I would say, you know, probably just through like, yeah, like social scenario, you know, settings that, you know, post yeah. those posts, you know, graduates, like the only place I really meet people, I would say would be like, yeah, like at work or the gym, you know, it's like exactly places. So exactly. And know. the gym, not even so much because, you know, people at the gym are there to work out. So it's not like you're going to go and like yeah. try to socialize or whatever. So what yeah. was really cool is you just get to meet a lot of people organically, which was like something I had hadn't had out of school for a long time outside of like, Oh, you know, come over to my house. And then someone else has some other friends over or something like that. Um, so that was just something I think we've been stripped of for a while now. So I thought that was, that was really cool. And that's mainly a huge reason why I do it too, is because you just, you just, you're constantly meeting a lot of, a lot of people. And it it can be kind of difficult though, because, you make these really good connections and really incredible connections over a very short time. And then everyone's moving constantly. So you kind of miss people at the same time. So it can be a little bit difficult, but it it made me realize for sure that how much I missed organic interactions and like how awkward it is. Like our social norms have become so awkward now. (laughs) It's like, it's very uncommon to just like, strike up conversations or like just talk with people or just do stuff like that, which sucks. Um, and I think obviously like our phones have a big, have a big role in that and like social media and stuff. I really don't think it was this bad before, but, um, but yeah, it was, I think that's a huge reason why I like it to be honest. I think you might like it. (laughs) You should go. (laughs) Yeah. And too, like, you know, there's, there's definitely something, yeah, to, you know, being able to, you know, just meet people, you know, out there, you know, and because like sometimes, you know, you get a little bit insulated from like, you know, your daily routine, right? From yeah. like, you know, and so that's what traveling is helpful in exercising that, that like social, that social muscle, because yeah, part of me is like, you know, 
I'm just like as some days, you know what I mean? I'm just like, yeah, I'm not like trying to be like making it, like any friends. Like I'm just Yeah. So, you know, at the uh, but you know, and but you don't want to get stuck in that mood because then you just kind of you need to you need to be able to expand your social circle and yeah. you know people, yeah. you know. And the uh though the thing though is like I would say it's like if you can find somebody though that you, you know, are in sync with like in terms of like traveling and like that would be nice. have a good understanding of like okay like with this person you know because again it's like you have to it's like kind of finding like almost like a band member or like yeah. you know, someone like that where it's like somebody yeah. that you kind of understands like your the vision what we're going for yeah. here you know <laughs> um yeah and yeah. if you can find someone like that because again like it's something i think some value to sharing experience with somebody that is sort of in your daily proximity of too course. right because like you're saying you meet people like out there and like that's that is great. You know, you meet people in connections all over the world, but then, then you come back home and, you know, everyone goes back home eventually. Right. And then, you know, uh, those people, you still have those connections there, but especially in today's world with social media and you can keep those connections going. But, um, you know, yeah. if you have like a friend that you travel with, you come back home with them, you know what I mean? And then yeah. you can, and then it, that's amazing if you can, and I, if I'm you can find people, that, like, that's what I'm saying though. But yeah, like, you know, I yeah, agree. it's completely, if that's you can not find that, common. Yeah, that's so. amazing. That's amazing. Uh, I found but, a few few people that were traveling that were in that scenario. They were like childhood friends or whatever, but they had an understanding. Like they know each other, and when they're sick of each other, they just give each other space, and then they can. And it's not a thing. Like it's not an issue. It's like they understand what the deal is, and they get it. You know, it's yeah. It's no one's taking anything personal or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, I mean that that's amazing if you can. I mean, if if anyone is really lucky to, that would be amazing. But. It's yeah. funny. It's like uh, what I remember traveling. Like when I was so younger, I was fortunate enough to like do some traveling. Like uh, when I was like you know early teens, and uh, and I remember being I think it was in London, and like we we were in line to tickets to for a train, and like there was an American clearly an American family in front of us. So like the wife, husband, they have like you know young kids. Like we got like a baby. Like there's toddlers. We're just like you know part of me is thinking it's just like you know why are you traveling like you know with kids this young you know it's like especially when kids like a lot of them can't be forming memories like this and it's like mm -hmm. who knows what's going on here but they were just fucking fighting like they were just screaming at each other oh, just, like, boy. just like you have the fucking passport, I have a fucking passport. <laughs> the fucking passport. Okay. no oh my god and they're just yeah. you know so it's a, but like making a scene and like there's a reason why like you know in some places especially in europe like americans get kind of this bad reputation of being loud and obnoxious crass because of yeah. those kind of people that just we are, are just loud though i'm not gonna lie unaware you know <laughs> of their they're just totally oblivious to their effect around it yeah. everyone's just like come on man but you know there's again though me and my dad in that situation they're like looking at these people it's like well we're americans and we're not doing that you know what i mean it's like we have awareness so it's like i feel like you know but we understand why the stereotype exists. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, oh yeah. Like it's, oh yeah. It's no. pretty obvious why. Oh but, my yeah. god. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. I there aren't a lot of Americans solo traveling. It's definitely like a European and Australian. Like a lot of Europeans, a lot of Australians, all especially like Asia solo traveling. Americans. I think I came across four Americans in the three months that I was out versus. I can't even tell you the amount of English people and Australian people and everything else that I came across. Um, we just don't get out much really, <laughs> out of the yeah. U.S. <laughs> we really don't get out over there. <laughs> um, but, and I think, oh my God, yeah, two. The two guys were decent, like very chill guys, like very nice. And the two, I hate to say this, the two girls, American girls, um, I met three American girls. One of them, she was chill. She was a teacher in, in China and she was like, ha she was on a uh, vacation. And then the other two were just solo uh, backpackers and they were like very loud. Like they had, like we were all sitting in a group, we're all talking and they were like, it was like, I could see it. I could see the stereotype and I could hear it. And I was like, Oh no, stop. And I was like, why, why, why just chill, just relax. And, and it was this, it was this, I felt kind of like a, because there aren't a lot of Americans there. So they were like, Oh yeah, we're from the States and you know, this and this and this and, and very like, very like just, I don't know how to explain it. Like, 
look at me ish. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, Oh, like, Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm from, a, I'm from the U S and stuff like that. And, and, and that's cool. Like there's nothing wrong with that, but there was, there was that I, I could, I saw it and I was like, Oh man, I was like, I can't, I can't, man, this is, I can't be around this. It, it just, they had to be the loudest voice in the group. And like, um, just like topping, like if anyone had anything to say, they they also had something to like to. It was always like a competition of. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, to, yeah. Like just yeah. relax, you know. Yeah, but I sure. think it's just maybe their age. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, you know, but yeah, there's definitely that aspect of it. You know, they're you know obnoxious. You know, that's why we have the that a stereotype. You know. Yeah, yeah, that because... stereotype that came out. But like I said, you know, the other the other three I met were lovely. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, and there's plenty of people that aren't, yeah, like that. But, like, yeah, there's just, you know, I think there's something that comes with, you know, I think in America, like, you know, it's just kind of the culture, yeah, like, a lot of people, just the way it is here, like, you know, we're, mm-hmm. we are loud, like, we, we are, just yeah. are, you know, like, when you comparatively, you know, relatively, there's some definitely some louder cultures, but, like, you know, we For are sure. just one of the For louder sure. ones, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, we, we stand out. We stand out, like, um, yeah. like, it, it's... it's- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a center of attention thing. Yeah, is yeah, 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 the, yeah. <laughs> the world revolves around us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have that. Yeah. We have that attitude. Oh, yeah, but, we definitely I mean, have yeah. the attitude of like, but in but in the U.S., we don't do it like that. Like, why are you guys doing it this way? We don't do it this way. You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and sometimes though, I think there are. It doesn't help that. I think there are like some people that suck up, you know, to Americans, you know, because, oh my God, you know, it's just like, you know, America, like, yeah, yeah. Like, so it's like, that doesn't help, you know, it's just when people are just like, especially when they find out, like, especially when I remember traveling in like Southeast Asia, it was like when people would find out like, this was 20 years ago, but like when people find out you're American, uh, they were like really excited because they're like, Oh shit, current, the American currency, yeah. like the exchange rates and stuff. Like they wanted to get, they wanted to find some way to get their hands on some American currency. Right, right. So they would all of a sudden be trying to like sell you something or like, you know, be trying to, you know, it's pretty funny um, because. Yeah. 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 They just, everyone was interested in you as soon as like you found out you were American for some reason. And I don't know why you, that yeah. was. I mean, if you want to be humbled, go to Vietnam. <laughs> Do I tell oh, you yeah. That? Yeah. I haven't been to Vietnam now. No, I, I, would... I, I can't remember if I shared this on last time. I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I can't remember. I don't. I don't think I did. But um, I, you know, for for obvious reasons, they're not very fond of us. Um, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't plan on going to Vietnam. It wasn't on my. It wasn't on my. And for, for no for no specific reason. I just it wasn't planned for me. But when I got to Asia, everyone I met there was like, oh, you got to go to Vietnam. We're all going to Vietnam. We're going to do the Ha Jong Loop, which is the sloop in the mountains in the north. And it's like amazing and beautiful. You got to see it. It's stunning. And everyone's really nice. And the food's really delicious. It was like sold. So you have to do a visa um, in order to get pre, like a pre, before you go there, you have to uh, uh, submit a visa or apply for one. And then you get by via email, you get accept, uh, approved and then you can go. And when you enter, you show the visa. So I was like, okay, uh, I get, I get there and I get there in the evening. It's like seven o'clock and, uh, my friend, like everyone I met who was in Thailand, a bunch of us were like, had like sorted out that during this week we're going to meet and we're going to do the Ha Jong loop together. So that's kind of what I mean. Like I didn't meet, go with anyone, but you still meet a bunch of people and you do plans together and stuff like that. Yeah. So, uh, I get there and I order, which is uh, equivalent to a, uh, like an Uber, their Uber. I think it's called grab if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so the, the grab pulls up, it's basically Uber, but it really cheap. Um, <laughs> it's super cheap, man. I was getting rides like 15 minutes, 20 minutes away for like $2. It was great. Oh, wow. oh so cheap, man. It was so affordable. <laughs> oh, exchange rates there, man. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. And so the, the currency is, is Vietnam, Vietnam dong, which is like, it's in the thousands. I'm an idiot. Mm. Talk about like stereotypical American, right? Uh, unlike many other non-idiot Americans, I was an idiot and didn't really look into what the exchange was and the currency was. I just knew it was Vietnam Dong. And I was like, yeah, when I get there, I'll figure it out. I thought it was going to be like Thailand. <laughs> it was not like Thailand. <laughs> when I, the, the guy pulls up. I put my luggage in the back. I have this like rolly, like the small pink rolly. I put it in the back. 
I get in and I'm on my phone with my friend and he's, he's flying in the next day. He was waiting on his visas, but, but mine got approved before his. So we were just waiting. I was messaging him and I don't know where the driver turns around and snatches my phone from me and ends the ride like on my phone and then gives it back. And he hasn't had a, said a word to me. I was like, what the hell's going on? I was like, I was like, wait, why'd you do it? I was like, can you, I was like, no, 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 pull over because right away I knew I was in trouble right away. I was like, ah, oh, shit, here we go. <laughs> I was oh, like, get me the fuck out of this car. Nope, no, he didn't. And I was like, can you, I was like, pull over. He's like, no, 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 I take you to hostel. I take you to hostel. I was like, no, 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 let me out. Let me out. Get me out. And he said, okay, 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 okay. But he doesn't. And he continues to exit out of the airport. And he pays. So there's like this, you have to pay to get on the highway once you exit the airport. And he, it, which cost him, I think like, tw- like, 20 20 or 25,000 dong something like that um if I'm not mistaken yeah something like that which is probably around 80 cents so less than a dollar and so I'm telling him can you pull up like let me out let me out let me out he he doesn't he keeps driving all the way down the highway and then pulls over and turns around and starts yelling at me and I'm just like dude I'm exhausted I don't know what the fuck you want and he's yelling at me but he's not really speaking English so he's yelling at me in Vietnamese and then writing in his phone the translation and then showing it to me and he's just going off on me he wants the 20 or 25,000 dollars I can't remember which one it was something like that and I was like I don't have any cash which is why I ordered a grab like I don't have any cash on me I don't yeah. have money and so he's sitting there. He's like refusing to go. He's writing that he's going to call the cops. And I was like, great. You know, in no in no scenario, no matter what happens, would this be good for me? Like, I don't care if he pulled out a knife on me. If cops come, I'm in trouble because they don't like us. They just don't like Americans there. They don't. And yeah. if the cops get involved, I'm screwed. So I was like, all right, de-escalate, de-escalate, de-escalate. Like, stay calm. Obviously, I'm freaking out, but I'm very chill. I'm very calm. And I'm just like, all right. If I paid any attention in any of my MMA classes, it's just, it's now. Like, this is what it is where you have to stay calm and de-escalate. Like, this is, <laughs> this is what it shows. Like, we got to, we got to figure this thing out. I don't know where I'm at. I'm at, it's dark. I'm on the side of the highway. This guy, and I don't know if he's on drugs. I don't know if he's carrying anything. I don't know what's going on. I, I can't even, I don't know what's going on. So I tell him, so I, I wrote in my phone. I was like, you know, can you open the trunk? The money's in the back. And he was like, okay. So he he finally opens it after like 10 minutes of me just sitting there because he has the doors locked. He unlocks the door. I get up. I get, I I get him to give me my luggage. And then I just start walking. I'm like, see ya, dude. I don't know you. (laughs) And and he then, he starts walking after me and he's like, hey, call police. I call police. And I was like, then do it, bro. I mean, I don't want him to, but I'm like, what do you want me to do? I don't have any cash. And he's actually not supposed to, I'm not supposed to pay for anything that they pay on the road. That's all included in the fare. But then, so he gets in his car and he starts like driving really close, like almost like he's going to hit me. And because I'm on the side of the road trying to get back to the airport. Luckily I see an ATM and I'm like, I just want this guy out of my, like to fucking leave me alone. And I see other Vietnamese locals walking and I'm like, can you help me? I was like, excuse me, excuse me, can you help me? They just look and they see what's going on and they just like keep walking. They want nothing to do with it. Nothing. They don't care. They don't give a shit. They're not about to get involved for yeah, they're like, yeah, I'm not, for an American, especially. They're not, not my problem. <laughs> yeah, like they don't give a shit about what the hell happens to me. Like, what the fuck, you know? Um, and and especially because not only am I American, but I'm not very white, right? So that's the other mm-hmm. thing. Like I would, they don't even really like white Americans, but it wouldn't have been maybe as, they they would have maybe been, maybe, I really doubt it, but maybe a little bit helpful. Don't, I doubt it, but I, just a little bit. Um, also as a female, it was because a lot of my, the people that I talked to who were like foreign, who were guys, they didn't run into any of the issues that I ran into. Hmm. Um so I find an ATM and I withdraw and the lowest, uh, like, uh, paper that they can like, uh, nope, they can, the ATM with, uh, dispenses is 50,000 dong. So I just gave it to him. It's like, here you go. So you can have the whole thing. I don't want it. Which it is was like a dollar 60. <laughs> <You> know, like, <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Do knock yourself out. And he's like, no, 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 no. I give you change. And he wanted to give me my change, which is really nice. But also he's scamming me at the same time. I was but like, also, oh, yeah, stop. And so he gives me my change 
And then I was like, all right, sir, goodbye. I'm walking back to the airport. Maybe I'm going to get on a flight back to Thailand because this is already too much. And <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like, like all right, it is just too much. enough. <laughs> got there, bro. Like, what do you want? <laughs> got the Vietnam experience. I'm good. I just got it. It's, it's great. I'm sure the food is delicious. I wish you all the best. Goodbye. Um, and I, he starts yelling at me more because apparently something there's always something i'm doing wrong with this guy like what do you want from me well, that's and what scammers says, do right like they he's yeah it's yeah. never enough you know yeah, whatever but then he always... starts going why you don't love me everyone love me why you don't love me i take you to hostel i take you to hostel i take like he wanted to take me to the hostel because he wanted that money and he starts talking about how i he wasted he it was so much time he wasted so much time and he's he's very busy man very busy man and i'm like i'm what do you want from me so I eventually just walk back. It took me a little while, but I walked back. And I just he and he he gave up, and I just walked back to the airport. I go into the airport and I went to the bathroom, and I just sat in there. <laughs> I was like, I need a break. <laughs> I was like, I can't, man. This is too much. So um, I uh, I I was really close to just deciding to go back to Thailand, but I decided I was like, you know what, we're already here. Let me see if I can get a hotel, uh, a a taxi. Uh, from the airport that works like with the airport, you know, all that. And I got there safely. But, you know, that wasn't a very like isolated incident. There was a lot of like behavior like that in Vietnam in general, like mm. very hostile, kind of aggressive. <clears throat> uh, and I'm, I'm not the only one that, you know, I came across like other female travelers and, and they had the same the same story but then you know I, I met a lot of people who also said that they didn't experience anything like that but they were also again like guys um who I don't think I don't think if you because if you see I hope this doesn't sound bad but they're small like the v, Vietnamese, Vietnam, people, are Vietnamese people are yes yeah. yeah yeah so they're not they're not gonna try like no they're not gonna pull what they pulled with me with like a dude who's you know who's yeah. like really bigger like they're not gonna yeah. i was bigger than the guy that was yeah even was even a six foot tall lanky bigger. white guy you know that dude. non-threatening nerdy white guy they're not gonna fuck with them like you know yeah. you got you got height and reach on them yeah. like yeah they're not gonna I'm fuck five, with five, you, and like, i was bigger than the guy i was bigger than him he was he's small but I was like, but, I, but you never know. They, they, even those small guys, like you see them, yeah. my MMA fight, Mighty Mouse, and all them guys, they fucking, <laughs> <laughs> like you don't know what they're capable of, man. They can apple on you. Like, of him pulling out a knife or something, or or him calling the cops, and then I get detained. I don't want to go to Vietnamese prison, bro. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't, don't want to be in like. Detained. That's why I was like, take whatever money you want. I'm not. Don't call the cops. Like I, I don't, I don't. What am I? I can't even communicate. What am I gonna say? Yeah. And what you think? Freaking Biden over here is gonna help get me out? No, he won't. <laughs> he's too. He's taking. He's walking on cats and shit, bro. He yeah, don't got time. No. <laughs> yeah, he's not. Yeah, he doesn't care. No, <laughs> doesn't but care. You, <laughs> no, but like that's just insanity, though. Like you're, you're right, though. Like I mean, they're uh, even. You know, I wouldn't say even like there. Although, like you know, I feel like you, you, you would have the insight on that. I would say. A lot of those Southeast Asian countries, there's any number of scams, any number of dangers. So like, like Singapore, I would say is probably, you know, because that's more of like a city state. You know, that's not even yeah. you want to say it's a country, really. Like, yeah. you know, it's it is, but like, it's not. Sure. Like, it's a yeah. very small area that they have to keep nice, and so it's yeah. very nice, and I feel like very safe. Yeah. Um, probably one of the better places but then you go right into malaysia like you can yeah. see the decline like in yeah. quality everywhere is yeah. all this is immediate um and not to talk sh shit about malaysia there's definitely nice parts to malaysia too I but loved like malaysia malaysia was nice <laughs> yeah there's definitely some nice parts to it but like you get out into some of the outside of the cities and stuff yeah. like you can tell like you're yeah. like because yeah. when i would when i did the traveling like i was i did we road tripped all over that fucking country like uh so yeah. you know like malaysia? we got to see yeah malaysia so we nice. got to see the good and the bad yeah. you know so we got to see both sides of it and um yeah. like uh but yeah, like you sing Langkawi? what was that Langkawi? were you had did you get a chance to go there uh i don't think so okay, okay. um you have the, to take a plane from the mainland oh, okay we we're in penang penang yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay yeah so yeah, we right. were 
yeah um we we drove there from basically from singapore to penang mm -hmm. i want to say mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. we were we drove into thailand at some point for like mm -hmm. a, a few days as well yeah um, i can't remember how did where you we do were. that all in a car i'm impressed uh, I don't know. <laughs> like you're in this <laughs> fucking van, like, and I was with uh some fan, uh some people. Like they were like they were working as I wasn't like associated with them, but like they were like. As were some, you like you know, on a tour? I gotta know more about this. What's going on? <laughs> it was they were missionaries working ah. over there, and so we were just kind of like tagging along. You know what I mean? Like they were doing their thing, and we were with them. You know, yes. so we weren't necessarily uh. Like doing, we weren't. I wasn't doing missionary work. Right, right. right. <laughs> like I we was were just, just there for the ride. Yeah, <laughs> I was just there for the ride. Um, but Thailand was fucking wild. Um, I got like a laser pointer there. I remember I bought at a store. Like that. Have you it was been just... to the? Did you get a chance to go to the ping pong show? <laughs> the ping pong show. <laughs> is that what it is? Where my mind went with it immediately. Is that what it is? What um, is where did I don't know where your mind went? <laughs> you gotta tell me. It was something uh awful. Um no <laughs> something awful. Like the Winona Ryder in the South Park movie, which she did. Um I, I didn't see it, so oh, you're gonna okay. have to be specific, man. <laughs> uh well, I did go to a show that was like it they were basically all like I I, I don't know what the correct term is because back then the terms that they use, the Taiwan or I, is that what Thai. the Thai, Thai, Thai yeah. people use yes. uh, to describe the show? They said they were transvestites, which, as I understand the term now, transvestite oh. means somebody, a man that wears women's clothing. But these were clearly had like lady got, boys. They were lady these, boys. They had gotten surgery. Like these were clearly yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, they all get surgery. Yeah. yeah so yeah, this yeah. was like, and they said, but they they called them. They said they were transvestite. Like that was the language they used. Which they're they obviously call lady boys now. Yeah, now, yeah, they use, and obviously, I mean, I guess it would be more closer to like a transgender person, yeah, if you're, you know, yeah. doing all this. So, yeah, uh, yeah. it was uh, interesting experience though for you know eleven year old David, <laughs> and so yeah, they were eleven. Yeah, I was eleven. Um, Get out! Oh <laughs> took, my god! We went to this trans, uh, transgender. So I hope performance. you didn't go to that ping pong show then. Uh, I don't no, 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 didn't hit up the ping pong show. Okay, do you want to know what what that is? I'm pretty sure I do, but go ahead and just enlight <laughs> enlighten us. <laughs> so the ping pong show is a very classy event mm. where you go and you just sit in front of a stage and a very beautiful Thai woman will sit right on the stage, very naked and very hairy and, <laughs> and um, very body positive. I will say a hundred percent. Like if you want body positivity, yeah, it doesn't like get slay. more positive than that. <laughs> And um, just decide to stick up a bunch of stuff up her let's uh, clam, and then she will shoot it out into the audience and aim it at people. <laughs> and one of the things that they do frequently, other than they, she puts stuff up there, uh, ping pong balls, razor blades, Whoa. insects, cigarettes. I don't know, man. I cannot. I can't. I can't. I mean, I'm, I'd be mildly interested in ping pong balls, but all the other things you described there, I'd be like, all right, like this is weird. This is what are we doing here? Why would you <laughs> like, put a cigarette? No, and then she took it out and doing? gave it to someone in the audience, and he smoked it. No, I, would have I was going to die. <laughs> I was like, no. what? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what do you do? This is too much. If, if you buy the first row <laughs> ticket, do they warn you? Be like, uh, you may get a vagina cigarette. You may come part of the show. You never it know. Is, you got to be prepared. I don't, I mean, I don't know how they aim it. So my friend was sitting next to me and he's a good looking guy. It, it isn't a secret. It's whatever. And she points at him and she's like, you. And she like aims and she, and he knows the ball is coming straight at him. I was like, I'm getting out of this way. Oh, <laughs> yeah. he yeah, gets yeah. up and he just walks out. <laughs> he's like, what? No, 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 like, no, no, I don't no, no. That. It's disgusting. Yeah, she's. Uh, you just. There's you, nowhere safe. Yeah, you're right. It, it, like, it, it, <laughs> first row, back row, she'll you know, hit you no like matter where you are. It's like how much do these women actually make? They barely, probably barely make shit doing this. And it's so dangerous. It's so unsanitary. Like it's so, like 
I'm sure they're like oh, constantly man. having infections. Like it's just so sad, man. And I mean, God, like, you know, that's, you, you know, you think, okay, so that's the kind of shit that like they're letting, they're letting the Americans see, <laughs> you know, it's like, who knows what heinous fucking shit that heinous. the higher yeah. doing in the fucking exactly. back rooms. Like they're not exactly. showing the fucking. Yeah. That, I never sure. even thought about that. Like I know like, God. tourism is huge, huge there, like Cambodia oh. and, and, and Thailand, all that stuff. But like you don't really see like the behind the scenes. You're right. It's so sad. And it's, it's fucked. So, sad. Like, so fucked. Like and yet like what we do know about like those experiences, then you just think about it, like, yeah, like I don't know, like everyone's so fucking pissed off and like I don't even know anything about the movie, but have you heard about that that the Sound of Freedom movie that yeah. came out that everybody like all, all a bunch of people are mad about at it apparently it's a movie about like human trafficking but i guess like all the all the right wingers are like jumping on it being like oh it's amazing it's it's calling out everybody i don't even know what it's about but apparently it's about human trafficking mm. and then so all the i don't know it's it, it's really bizarre and i guess people are saying that the story and it's not accurate and all this stuff i'm like well it's a fucking movie like yeah <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares? like yeah. it's a movie at the end of the day like even if the story's not accurate like who cares um so but anyway i'm not like trying to like jump get too political no, anything, no, but no, it's just no, like apparently that's what the movie's about and so but it's a, it's a big I issue like know. honestly it's like human trafficking is a fucking big issue maybe not quite as it is in the united states as it is say in like southeast asia like what we're talking about like over there i mean it's got to be so easy i think uh, you know a, i think it's a big issue in the u.s i just don't think it's as open like sex tourism yeah. is open there. Uh, no yeah, exactly. It's what I you kind of was meant. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah they yeah. kind of you have to really keep it uh, here. It's like it, that's why they were accused like all the elites and of yeah. being like pedophiles and shit yeah. is because you know if anybody's going to be doing that shit, it's going to be them because they would have that's access crazy. to any of that stuff. So I mean, it's I'm not saying that they're not doing that, but I'm saying it's just like obvious guess that they. No, would, you know, it's, like... it's, it's it's so funny that this topic is brought up right now because this morning uh, I was like I was scrolling like mindlessly on Instagram, <sighs> so embarrassing, and <laughs> oh, yeah. and just like a freaking like just like a robot just scrolling through, and so Ashton Kutcher has he has this like um, foundation. I don't know if you you know about this, but he has this foundation that he started. He does a lot of work for like sex trafficking victims. He's at, he's amazing. Okay, I think um, I've heard yeah, about. It. I think I've heard about. Yeah, it. he's incredible. And he was he was for some reason he was talking to he was talking to the U.S. government. I don't know what's going on, but he was talking about how in Cambodia there was a child who um, he helped get out of you know trafficking. But um, the long story short, the point was she was so like conditioned by her environment that she didn't realize what was going on. Wasn't playing. Like she was so used to that happening to her so frequently that she just thought it was just like, like playing with Barbies. Yeah. And I, it's so sad. And I was like, Holy crap. And it's just, and you know, you don't know what kind of like sick people go there because they know that that stuff is fine there. Like if someone has like a perversion, and, 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 you know, is attracted to minors and they know they can just go to Cambodia and no one will give a shit, for example, yeah. you know, and, to, and yeah, and like you're saying, there's some of it's so open that they know that, yeah, they can, there's people there that will adults there that openly enable it. And that's like, yeah. that's the, you know, that's the saddest part about it. And, you know, I think there's certain factors that kind of cultural things, but also to like population get regulation government you know they all this is a confluence of things that sort of allow it to exist like that you know but like yeah. at the same time though it's like um i i don't know the, to me that's there's this whole notion that you know i don't know it's just just take a step back from like sure yeah like there's this whole notion that like you know everything's moving to asia you know what i mean like, yeah it's like that's where things are happening like yeah that's what you for years i've heard this since i've was growing up was like well that like asia is like that's where things are really you know like the u.s you know like oh, in like 50 years we're gonna be behind like everyone's like it's like economists everyone's been saying this mm -hmm. and I always kind of wonder about it because it's just like is this is it one of those like are we being told that because of china 
yeah, it's like, are we being kind of told this because it's happening or are people pushing this to happen? You know what I mean? Is it like a chicken egg thing? You know, is, is, are people saying, like, oh, like, yeah, this is just definitely, it's a foregone conclusion that Asia is going to be this big, that's going to be the center of everything in 2050 or whatever. You know, it's like, I, um, I don't know about Asia, but if you want to specifically narrow it down to like China, I can see that. China. Yeah, like, you know, being the superpower <laughs> there, you know. Because like, it's almost uh, saying, like, all of North America is a superpower. I mean, not so much Canada, not so much Mexico, but the U.S., yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sure. like, it's kind of like that. Like, I think when – maybe when people say that they mean China because if you look at – Yeah, China I think China, China, yeah, basically, yeah, is what I mean there. But, like, you know, too, I think also, you know, like, Indonesia, India, like, there's you have some of these bigger countries, yeah, too, that yeah, have these yeah. huge populations that, yeah. you know, that, right. you know, if yeah, people yeah. – want to i think a lot of people in industry want to like harness the cheap labor you know i think that's yeah. kind of part of the focus on all yeah. of that is like they see so much cheap labor there that they want that's to true. move a lot of industry and things there to make that the center of stuff and like so but to me it's like there's something like again like that's but that's fucking wrong like you know what i mean it's like there's you it's, so? it's exploitation it's like exploit. Well, it, because their motivations for doing it is just like because they want to just exploit the labor, right? Yeah. You know, this, they want to exploit the people. It's like because there's people here now, like in the U.S., mm -hmm. we've grown comfortable and entitled. You know, we have expectations for salaries and living expenses yeah. and wages. There, it's like people. It's like you know, they have like so many people that are just living on like at the in poverty you know what i mean that barely oh, have yeah. anything so it's like oh, yeah. you can pay them barely anything and, and like they'll be happy with it working yeah exactly so it's like i think that's like part of the motivation yeah. and so it's like is that like to me though it's like is that right you know it's like i don't know it's to me it's like it feels like kind of one of those things like it's a big push for it and i don't i it's hard to tell whether or not it's like a foregone conclusion yeah or it's like people just want that to happen like the you know, movers and shakers, the big movers and shakers happen. want it to want it to go there. Um, not not necessarily like everybody, but like, you know, the people that are like control, like about all the big industries and stuff like mm. they want it to move there. Right. So it's like they're kind of so they're putting out the articles, better, they're paying off yeah. the economists, they're telling everybody push this idea that where everything's going to move there so that everybody when it does move there, it was an expected reaction versus like, no, this is actually like us kind of like undercutting the you know everybody here you know the laws and labor laws and the things we we don't like that anymore so we just yeah. kind of want to move it to a different part of the world without all of those restrictions yeah um and so yeah i don't know it's it's hard to it's hard to tell um i feel like regardless of like whatever with regardless of what the reason is like people are saying that do you think that there isn't truth to it like, do you feel like, no, this is just, this is just speculation and, you know, there isn't enough evidence to show that that is something that's going to happen? Or do you think that with everything that's been going on and sort of, like you said, the labor laws and everything like that and, you know, how, you know, for stuff like if we move forward, if, if crypto forever come, it decides to turn back around and get, you know, you know, come back instead of it being in you know, uh, it being down for however long it's been down now and we're going on to what, like two years or something like that. It's, has it been down that long? It's been down for a minute. Um, from, but I mean, you know, from its peak. Yeah. 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 Like regulations for stuff like that or isn't as tight as the U S so future wise, if you're thinking about the future, do you think like, I automatically think of stuff like, for example, even on a very like social quote unquote light, you know, example is something like TikTok, right? Like everyone, I don't, I can't deal with it. I don't got it. But it's like, it's like everyone is, is like just glued to this thing. And the TikTok in China is different than the TikTok here. The TikTok in China is brilliant. It's all about studies. It's all about being able to follow like it's structure and it's all about, uh, it's science and it's all, it's all this smart, like they're, they're feeding their country completely different things than they're feeding the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And I mean, look at that, even on like a, like they found a way to be able to influence how, you know, how do I say this? 
<laughs> what is another word for like conditioning? Would, would you say like were there enemies? I don't know. I don't want to say that word. Oh, they're enemies, but you know, they're we're not like they're certainly not, adversarial towards us. But yeah. I would never call. I wouldn't say necessarily they're an enemy. enemy. That's true. Like a like, but some sort of rival, right? Like they're, they're, if you yeah. look at it, we are some sort of rival to them, superpower yeah. wise. Yeah. So that's that's a bit most much better fitting word for that. Um, but they were able to influence just the social, like just your everyday person. Isn't that insane? That's it's wild. It's crazy. They're yeah. brilliant, and they're not doing. And but th that same platform is different for them. So it's it's interesting what else is going on that we may not be aware of. Like it's it's they're they're very smart. They're very, 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 very smart. So, think, yeah, and I think you're touching on something there that's interesting too, because it's like they're what they're experimenting with within China, and that's what like we don't have a ton of insight. Certain people do, you know, have get some insight into what they're what's going on over there, especially with the government, the things that they're practicing, like the influence and conditioning and propaganda mm -hmm. and stuff that they're mm -hmm. deploying on their populations how all of that is working, how it's not working. You know what I mean? They're collecting probably some really interesting data in terms of just like authoritarian influence on stuff. And that's probably really interesting to certain it, parties yeah. here because there's a lot of authoritarian minded people here that want to figure out ways to control ma the mass populace, you know, like the like, huge population, try and control us because a, a lot of us, you know, are very, we appreciate, autonomy you know <laughs> and to be able to yeah. sort of make our own choices yeah and and so like the system here it's like you know not it's never great it's not a great system but and they kind of give you the illusion of a choice but there is at the end of the day seemingly a choice versus mm -hmm. china where there's not really a choice it's a one party state you know right. it's like you, you there's no you know you're voting between two people of the same party right. basically you know it's like if they give yeah. you even that if that yeah um so uh you know, here it's kind of the same thing. Basically, they have different brands and marketing, uh, but they're mostly serving the same people. You know, mm -hmm. um, that's why I kind of feel like a lot of people sort of peel back the layers. But at least the system's kind of open to where you can get like randos in there that are like, yeah, no, I'm not part of that shit. You know, <laughs> and like um, at least that's 100%. available, you know, so 100%. that's why our system, I think, is superior in that in that 100%, way. Yeah. And and two, I feel like there is a, you know, with the like labor laws, all that shit, it is a refining of the relationships between all these forces between average people, big fucking corporations, big government, you know, people getting crushed under the boot of these different forces. Yeah. Like we, you know, the like, we should be aware of those things and like for the longest time, it felt like the system was sort of refining, okay, what's acceptable, what's not, you know, how does this relationship, how do we get a relationship to mm. work better? And then I feel like a lot of people kind of want to undercut that now and kind of take decisions out of people's hands. You know what I mean? It feels like right. there's a lot of people are, there's a lot of there are nefarious actors out there, let me just say, that are putting out some bad ideas, disguising them in different ways that I think are not quite so obvious to some people that sort of... You know what I mean? Like they put yeah. it, they pack it, they're packaging up some really authoritarian and ideas in some, in ways that they're kind of always, they always use like safety and right uh, ease and, you know, access and, oh yeah, you know, don't you want your life to be like simpler and like easier and like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, well, in order to do that, you have to give up this, you know, and, and, but yeah. so yeah, <laughs> like to me, it's like, uh, there's so much of that's becoming, um, they're trying i feel like they're trying to deploy a lot of these different things on people now because um yeah like i think they're banking on people's sort of ignorance you know people mm. are becoming less aware you know oh yeah like if we get everyone's just fucking yeah i'm distracted by tiktoks and social yeah. media and like whatever the fuck they're not going to pay attention to the increasingly uh yeah. uh you know increasing control that you know people have over your life um Definitely. not even the government or just the government either it's just like corporations too like you know yeah. and you know the b major corporations and what they can do like like as you know the whole idea of like banks canceling people and shit that always bothers me because it's just like you know that's like your ability to do commerce and do business like i understand like okay like the bank being like well we don't want to like you know do business with them it's like okay yeah that's fair but like sometimes it just kind of feels like i don't know like right. that's a way to try and shut somebody up. Like, right, all right, right. 
I mean, especially too when it comes to certain things like some situations somebody's like if you're they're being just like a hateful like you know you know dickhead like i think that's usually pretty obvious like in in certain cases like you see like i guess you know rfk it's like i don't necessarily support the guy but like it seems right. like there's he's saying some controversial stuff that people then like turn around and like want to like just you know quiet like, him. yeah yeah try and get him to like i guess he quiet, yeah. put shit down from youtube <laughs> and stuff and like like come on like wild. yeah you just on a at the end of the day a lot of the times so you just draw, draw more attention to it right and you start censoring shit i don't know I just feel like, you know, just, you know, let people fucking just talk, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. Especially no, if you're like running for like president. Unless you're, <laughs> unless you're like super like left wing, then you have to be very careful about what you say. Um, it, it feels like <clears throat> they're, they seem to be the only ones who are kind of immune from the cancel culture. Which is interesting to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in a certain way, like there's definitely yeah. you can definitely times where like you know the the right will start to get riled up about some shit, you know, and you'll see that yeah. oh, you know, you'll see articles, and you'll see some out, some outrage, but no, I do think you like mostly you're right, like you know, you have people at, because it's like it's like this, it's the cool thing. I don't get and it. If, I don't know who decided it was cool though. Like, no, it's not. It's not really. <laughs> no, because, like, who decided this? <laughs> like I don't me, understand why Hollywood is like so how do you say um, there's only really one way to say it hollywood is very influential obviously and stuff like netflix and, and 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 everything and everything the media and it's like they they feel like they have to like tiptoe around this party which i don't understand like i don't get it i'm very moderate i'm not i'm neither right night right or left because i know it sounds like i'm right right now but i'm not yeah I'm neither, no I'm, 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 any so, if somebody's far left, everything sounds fucking right to them. So it's like, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, you know, it, it, you know, like, like, you know, you could be almost like on their side too about some yeah. shit. And they'll just like, that, what's so, so annoying about it is like, but if you don't, you're not aligned in some cases. And I feel like I, not to paint them all with the brush. I think there are some people, you know, that have those sort of like far left uh sensibilities that aren't necessarily as hard but like i think it's again like the loudest voices kind of attracted attention and because people have made it so permissible to just kind of go out there and mm -hmm. say those things and I don't get a it. lot of the times it's just like it's just like i think it's because it's like i i, I don't i don't to me here's what was what i always thought was when I was growing up, how I defined, or like not necessarily how I defined, but at least, at least how I read how culture was defining what cool was. Right. Cool guys that were cool were people that didn't take like basically anything. Like, you know what I mean? They, they weren't like right. They weren't like left. They just didn't like anybody that was trying to come in and fucking ruin right. the vibe. You know what right. I mean? Right. Right. Like, right. 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 You're going to come in relax, like, and start, man. yeah, like, you know, like, especially too, when it came to like music and stuff and punk music and stuff, yeah. like all of that was kind of, was, a, there was a lot of stuff that with that was about like rebelling against, right? you know, the, you know, the, the, the typical sound, you know, that's why punk music, a lot of it was loud and obnoxious and didn't sound necessarily good was because that was the point. Is yeah. because everything like we weren't trying to sound like a fucking pop like band, everyone you know? else, yeah. Yeah, we were trying to sound fucking loud. We were trying to yeah. fucking freak out parents. You know what I mean? And that was just basically it. You know, it was like, you know, if you freaked out somebody's parents, like then you were you were basically cool. <laughs> it was like Dude, I don't uh, understand. So now it's like being like a communist and shit is freaking out people's parents. So it's like kind of becomes cool in that way. So that but that's how you take the teeth out of it. Is yeah. you can't give it that bite. Because yeah. it's fucking dumb. Like, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's just like being like a fucking, like people that are like self avowed communists are just like, I don't know, they're just being stupid. Um, because they're not, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Like at the end of the day, like most people that actually have like read, sit down like red marks or like, you know, read, like seriously dove into any of that stuff. Um, you know, if a lot of those people that have seriously read that stuff, that's not the only stuff they've read. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's yeah, the thing. Yeah. That's the annoying thing about a lot of these fucking people is like, that's like the only thing that they'll yeah. talk about is like yeah. the one side of yeah. the argument. And it's just like, they won't talk about any of the, any other fucking economists and how all of these things tie together and how it's a fucking debate. You know, yeah. all of these things are it need, like not because there's things that Marx talks about that are fucking valid when it comes to like ownership 
and the property and like course, the relationships yeah. between yeah. these forces. There are, you know, there are some valid observations there and there's some helpful stuff, mm. but in conjunction with like the whole economic picture of like, you know, capitalism and, you know, these systems and, and their, uh, their intended interactions versus their mm. like, what ends up being sort of a lot of the times unintended consequences. Right. And, and that's why, you know, again, like it's a, it's a conversation, <laughs> you know, right, it's like right. all, any of this stuff is always a conversation and like, but you're not allowed get to lost. have conversations anymore. Cause if you have a conversation and you're able, like, it's like, everyone is so soft. It's like, you have to, it's like, if you have a conversation about anything, then it's like, Oh, oh, oh no, no, you can't, you can't talk about that. Or that's not a possibility because just the idea that they might be wrong. Just that idea. It's yeah. like so threatening to their whole like sense of identity. Ego. No, like, you're why right. Do you, why do you tie who you are so strongly to, to, to stuff like this? Why, yeah. why do you only see yourself in this? In, like, that's what I don't understand. Like what, what is the threat? I don't see it. I don't see it. Cause if you told me like who I was maybe 15 years ago, I would say I was definitely more left. Like I would, I, right away, oh, I'm liberal. What, like in 2003, if you would ask me well, who, what I was and I could understand these concepts, I'd say, oh, I'm liberal. And if you ask me now, I, would, I wouldn't say I'm liberal. I wouldn't say yeah. I'm liberal, but I, there's no way I would say I'm liberal because liberal now means something very different. So it's like, I can't, it's, it's, it's interesting. Like, um, see, like I, I always, consider, I still consider myself a feminist, but feminist now means something different. I only really understood with that, like how, how, like, in, in, how intensely that's changed recently. Because if you look at all of my, a lot of my videos and stuff, like say, I say feminist, because I do believe in feminism. What is, if you look at what that actually is, if you just do a quick Google search, it's what, like you, men and women have this, have equal opportunities and rights. Yeah. It's basic. And there's really yeah. not it's much under to the it. law. One like thing. we are treated the same, you know, that's it's like, it. you have the same opportunities. Oh, that's it. You have the same rights that you're, you know, you're you both. That's it. It's nothing crazy. No, nothing about anything else. It's very simple. Apparently now that it doesn't really mean that anymore. Mm -hmm. And so what's interesting to me, like I put up a, a video. When was it? two weeks ago. I don't know. Who's this, who's this one chick that everyone's like going crazy about who's saying that she's like the female Andrew Tate, which is an insult because Andrew Tate, I actually kind of like, she on the other hand is kind of crazy and I'll say why, <laughs> but um, what is her name? She was, um, is she uh, like kind of doing the same thing he's doing? Like saying the same stuff? I got it. Hold on. Do you mind, you mind me if I take it? Hold go, on. go for it. What is her? Cause I, I need to know this. Oh, there we go. What is your name? Uh, Oh, Pearl Davis. Let's say Pearly White or Pearl Davis. Have you heard of her? Uh, no. Not okay. Yet. I, hadn't, sure heard, she'll come up I hadn't heard of her either. Except my sister messaged me. She's like, oh, you got to react to this. I'm like, I don't want it to do too political. She's like, oh, no, there's no way. Like, this girl's crazy. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right. So I reacted to her on Piers Morgan. So she is an anti-feminist, apparently. Uh, okay. And then she had a, just a normal girl with her on. And they were debating with Pierce Morgan. So this Pearl Davis chick, she starts off saying only 5% of women wanted the right to vote. Like women didn't want to vote all this stuff. And she doesn't believe that women should have the right to vote because, um, why should women have the right to vote if they don't do men's jobs? What are men's jobs? So she elaborates, uh, doing like, uh, mining work going, uh, doing, uh, very heavy labor intensive jobs. And I was just like, my first thing is like, how are you going to, it's like, why or does that mean any man per her argument that does not do a labor intensive job should not have the right to vote? Like right there. Easy. Like, so yeah. what are you saying? So you, are you saying any man that doesn't do heavy labor intensive jobs or you call him like a little bitch? Like what's going on? Like, yeah. I was like what are you saying right now? Like, yeah. why, why does, so why can't a woman who decides that she wants to raise her own family instead of make money for someone else outside of the home. So say a woman is like, you know what? I'm going to take care of my husband and my children. That's going to be the best investment for me. Why should she have a less of a right to vote than someone who is decides not to like, it does just doesn't make any sense. And that's all I said in, in my video. When I tell you 
I got torn apart from this like oh, super, came for you? super right wing. Oh god. I got torn apart. And I was like, yo, what did I say? Like I literally all I said, like it makes no sense. And I realized it didn't even matter what was coming out of my mouth. At the end of the day, because no, they, no, no. Liked yeah. her, they liked her, they liked what she was saying. They liked that she they she was saying women shouldn't vote. They liked that she was saying that she always also was saying that the reason why divorce was high is because of women. Oh, women should always stay with a man no matter what. And she was saying women sh- women should be virgins when they get married. And so the girl next to her was like, well, you're not a virgin. And she called her out. She's like, everything you're saying is hypocritical because everything you're trying to say. And I figured out she's just like, a, she's a pick me girl. You know what I mean? But like, she did it well. Yeah. <laughs> she did it well. I'll give her that. She, whatever yeah. she's, doing, she's doing where it's working for. Her. But, you know, whatever the case is, I realized like, I wasn't really bashing her. And I wasn't saying, I was just going off her arguments and trying to mm-hmm. like look at the bigger picture. And it just, and, and it didn't matter what I was saying. Everyone is camped out. Like it's just camps. Like you mm-hmm. can't, you can't look at things in an argument sense. Like, okay, let's take this, let's dissect this and see what she's saying and look at these arguments. It didn't matter. It didn't yeah. matter. It doesn't it matter if you wild. have a point. It yeah. If you have a good matter. point, it does, you know what I mean? It's like when people are on a team, you know what I mean? Or, or you know, you know, simps or whatever. Well, her simps will come for you or whatever. You know, you can, that's when you have to have your army of simps go at, you know, come. Dude, you, you know, know I, mean? I was I was shocked a little bit after I put and I saw I saw what was going on. I was like, I didn't I, I think I didn't realize the state of of our society when it comes to these political camps. I mm. think I was I was kind of. You know, I, I didn't really grasp what was going on until I put that video up and I saw, I was like, this is madness. Like this is absolute yeah. madness. And I ended up taking it down because I was like, I'm not a political channel. I'm not trying to get on that. And I didn't take it down because I didn't like, it was getting a lot of views. Actually. I think if I would have kept it up, it would have given me a lot of views, but it just wasn't worth it for me. Like I was mm-hmm. like, this isn't worth it. It was pissing me off to see that people couldn't critically think and like weren't listening like that's what pissed me <laughs> off like it pissed me yeah. off yeah no i understand what I said totally yeah because i didn't insult the girl i didn't say anything i was going off of what she said what came out of her mouth yeah and i was like i'm just i was like well, this is a waste of two hours working on a video like i was like well what's what's the point like what is the point and so i was like i'm not, I'm not gonna even i'm just gonna stick with the stuff that i like which is my comedy stuff and games all this shit and Everything else is yeah. the point. Like, it's, what I say is, it, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to change anything. It's it, and what no. anyone says isn't going to change anything. No, people exactly. are so like camped out. So, no, I think you 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 know yeah you, know, you got to do what you got to do. You know, it's like I you know it's like I feel bad that you had that you felt like you had to take it down. You know, just because it's like it was a great video. Know, I loved it. Like you know. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you, you should you know because you know and, and don't get me wrong but like sometimes yeah. like if people are just being too if it's too much you know it's like sometimes seeing that stuff like i can't sometimes like just add too much of that stuff you just start to yeah. get like um you know so i get it like um you know there's probably a good reason to take take it down but like yeah. at the same time though it's like sometimes i feel like some of that negative attention you know what i mean it's like that tells you you're doing something right you know yeah. what i mean you know what yeah. i mean like you clearly yeah. touched on a nerve like you know if people if all they had to come at you with like was nothing like you said like they weren't thinking critically about it no. then that means that means that you had a good point yeah. like if they can't come back with anything like you know respectful or like and and actually refute what you're saying yeah. well then they they've lost you yeah. know they lost the fucking thing so to me it's like i feel bad that you have took felt like you had to take it down because like i feel like you were right (laughs) you know it's like you you made a good point and like fuck them like you know it doesn't matter if they don't like it like you that's what you fucking think it's your fucking channel you're allowed to say what you want to say fuck fuck those guys like you know and see here's the thing it's like far right far left you know it doesn't you know you if you say anything you know against one of their sacred cows they're gonna fucking come for you you can't and yeah, I feel like at the end of the day, it's like we can't, we shouldn't be afraid, you know, because like I consider myself, I don't try to not be part of any camp, you know, I'm not like trying to be part of anyone's fucking club or you know, group. Either. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, I understand that where you're like, I'm just trying to fucking do my thing. I'm trying to make yeah. my shit and just make yeah. stuff that I think is interesting, you know? And hey, you know, it's like if you want to engage with it, 
in in a in a respectful way like that's cool if you want to just talk fucking shit to me like i'm <laughs> i'll i'll find like i'll deal with that and like honestly people on tiktok i've noticed some people that talk some shit to me in the comments like i'll just fucking like their comment like i just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, i'm not yeah, gonna yeah. fucking like, argue yeah. with you i'm yeah. just gonna fucking like it and move on with my life yeah. because like he i got you to engage you know i, yeah. I feel like if at the end of the day if you get them to engage like you win and yeah you know, it, it, and two, maybe it's like I'll, I'll put it live again. I just, I just hit it. Maybe I'll put and it. Two, live maybe again. you can, you can take some of those fucking comments people are leaving and just like show the kind of shit that people are coming at you with. The people I mean, be like, look, was, look at me, this shit. Like, like, look at this fucking I shit. Think like it was just the shock of it. Like this is where we're at in society. Like this, this like, is, this where is what at. you're, this is on the hill you're going to die on. This is the hill on you're going to fucking sides. die on. Like, both sides are fucking mad. It's, like it's, women it's shouldn't insane. vote is the hill you're going to fucking die on. Really? It's just like, <laughs> come on, man. Like, like there's plenty of other things that you could probably like yeah. argue and actually convince people of. Yeah. And like, that's what's kind of, that's what's really annoying about a lot of this stuff. I feel like a lot of young people kind of get caught up in these, these sort of groups or things that like, you know, these, this kind of shit where it's like either something dumb like that where it's like women shouldn't vote or on the like inverse of it like you know it's like dismantle all fuck like all oh, like patriarchy. corporations or dismantle all like the patriarchy, yeah. like the whole economy basically <laughs> and like you know so like socialize all industry or like what yeah you know, the on the left side the le the dumbass left wing inverse of like impossible dream that yeah. no one's ever going it's not going to happen you know what I mean? It's like there's a, there's no world in which that they're going to fucking who's going to like if women can still vote, they're not going to vote away their fucking ability to vote. Like, yeah, yeah. They, she, uh, dude, it's not going to change. Another <laughs> thing that she said. Fucking deal like, with it, you cry babies. <laughs> it, was, it was ridiculous. She was like, oh, there was only one vote per household. I was like, no, there wasn't. There was one. There's one vote per male. So if there was two males in the household over the age of. What about the. Fuck it. Let's go back to just only landowners can vote. Like, what yeah, the see hell? how well shit goes in. That, that's one thing. But even her facts were wrong. So when I was correct, when I you know hit pause and I was like, well, no, 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 no. It, it was the men. So there's two men. It wasn't one per household. It was one per man. man. Like man who can. So if there's two in a household. Then that's two. So it's not going to change. Because she was saying, oh, if women, when women vote, now it's two per household. And I was like, that has nothing to do with it. Like, who cares how many are in the household? Like, what does that have to do? I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense. And I was like, it could have been two per household. I regardless, like it doesn't matter. As like, oh, like this, oh, you're a feminist, and this. Like, How am I a feminist? Like in in those terms, like in the in the very aggressive. Yeah. Super, I said like nothing that was yeah. like extreme. I was like, I was just going off of like, let's 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 quick let's do a quick Google search, like, <laughs> like <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> and I was Oof. like, oh, this is just that's just too much. I can't. It's like you can't reason with 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 like just someone who's gonna just bark at you you know what i mean it's like there's no reasoning yeah. like if if leo's barking because there's someone at the door there's no reasoning with him like it's just yeah right you know? <laughs> like um, so, there was something you said earlier I, though that i wanted to like kind of touch on that was like yeah interesting to me because it was like it made me think about something like some people and this is something you see on the internet there's people like it's like they tie certain things to their identity and so some people like you're talking about some people we were talking about earlier was like mm -hmm. they tie intellect to their identity so they mm -hmm. view themselves very much as like an intellectual like mm -hmm. oh I'm, like i'm very well read like i know all, all a lot about this and that you know and and so like you know when you bring up something that perhaps challenges like a preconceived notion they have or something like that mm -hmm. they're like no 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 like they start to try and correct you or like be very like it's very and two if you prove them wrong or like you know you like actually have a good point or something sometimes like those people can get very uh defensive, defensive. because yeah. you've like there's some chinks in the armor you know what i mean it's like they're like yeah. you've like oh like you're not they feel like realize oh i might prove it perhaps not as smart as i think mm -hmm. i am mm -hmm. but no that can't be true and so they have to defend the ego right yeah um on the inverse of that, like sort of maybe the people like you were dealing with on the video, it's like some people tie to their identities, sort of like kind of the inverse of that, which is like sort of this sort of like ignorance. You know what I mean? Right. It's like, like, no, I don't, I don't need to fucking know right. anything. Like right. all I know is like what fucking, what like th works or like what, you know, what my daddy told me or like whatever the fuck it is, you no. know, whatever is informed them. That's all what, the source. Of that, that's all they need. You know what I mean? That's what's tied 100%. to their identity. Yeah. And yeah. it's really interesting. I feel like we're caught between these two 
fucking groups of insufferable people <laughs> like mm-hmm. you know because on either side of it i just like can't stand people that get so defensive about their ego don't get me wrong i was probably kind of like that at one point but i've really tried to dial that back yeah. and can be aware you know of that yeah. you know because yeah. like i'm not fucking i'm not that smart like you know what i mean at the end of the day <laughs> like i'm i just i'm a guy that talks on a fucking podcast and like you know i do, I do uh <laughs> You know, I I do some stuff, but like, you know, I don't wouldn't consider myself an intellectual. What Mm -hmm. I try to do is try to understand intellectual topics and try to synthesize that into a way that maybe I, you know, because that's the how I can understand things. You know what I mean? Because I'm fucking stupid. So it's like (laughs) I have to try and take complex things and boil it down into something that I can be like digest, you know, and wrap my mind around. So like that's what I try to do and kind of actively do with my podcast and like. Yeah. And, and perhaps sometimes when I talk to yeah. interview people, so it's like, yeah, yeah you know, um, to me, yeah, I, I try not to tie any of that shit because there's definitely you can fall into that that trap of like, oh, well, like, yeah, I'm this like I am like I have like this ego to protect. And then, you know, on the other side of it is like you don't want to also to be just like have no basis for any thought or like any, any critical thinking skills, because that's, yeah. you need the tools, you know, to parse yeah. information and understand the world around you. But yeah. Yeah. 100%. Anyway, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just madness. It's not going to get any better. Everything's just, I, I can't imagine what's going to happen with this election coming up and um, yeah. God. hopefully I'll be in Asia. <laughs> You know? Yeah. Hopefully, I'll be somewhere in Vietnam. Now I'm just like, <laughs> but, you know, like yeah, like I try to, you know, again, like yeah, I kind of, I am pretty cynical about it, but like I do tr- hope that, like you know, conversations like this, you know, if we can, you know, make, so. you know, like, like right, if this can be like we can move people into more of a a space where you can talk, you know, and a realize conversation, man, yeah. A lot of people at the end of the day do want the same things, yeah, in the big in the grand scheme of things right you know the big picture maybe not perhaps the same like specific policy but like a lot of people do want the same stuff you know what i mean in terms of like you know cost of living you know like you know you know like building a better world for people that are coming behind us you know what i mean so it's like that i don't know it's like i feel like and it's all just about how we get there and there's a so and and like at the end of the day like a lot of people it's like become such a popular thing to just paint your opponent as being you know the yeah. bloodthirsty monster that absolutely wants to, has no redeeming qualities in the world and it's like okay look that's just not the fucking reality at the end of the day it doesn't make sense to me the whole like it's like the 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 group of people who are just so angry at women and the group of women who are so angry at men and i'm just like it makes no sense to me. Like, why are we at war with this? It's just, what, what are we, what is, what are we fighting here? Like, it, like what is happening? Like, it just feels like, and at the end of the day, it's like, let's, let's not, let's not lie. Like we all need each other. Right. Like I just, I don't understand. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, who are you trying to, who are you trying to convince here? Like, <laughs> you know, like the men who are so angry at women, oh, you shouldn't do this. Well, who are you trying to convince? We all know that you would like a lady who does X, Y, and Z. So like, what's going on? And same on the other side. It's just, it doesn't make any sense to me. It's just, it's just everyone. I feel like it's like, I mean, I really blame these stupid phones and social media, dude. It's like every, every idiot has an opinion. (laughs) Yeah. I hate to say it that way, but it's like an, 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 an uneducated, it's okay to have an opinion, but have an educated opinion. Like it's just these uneducated opinions. And I'm just like, I can't, man, I can't deal with it. It's, yeah. uh, it's, 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 it's a it's a shame it's really a shame you know yeah you know but you're right like there is just the ability for anybody to just kind of post anything you know and that's like (laughs) yeah and like it's kind of you see it's a lot what a lot of people predicted you know would happen if something like that were to occur would be like people gravitate towards the lowest common denominator and you know that's generally what you're seeing happening is like people Mm -hmm. gravitate towards the the basis like the worst things um and um because again like it's like the ability you know to you know not 
give in to you know and succumb to some of these uh you know some of these ideas and some of these pressures mm -hmm. it's like that's part of the discipline of of life you know what right, i mean it's just right. like you know if you invest like as a young person like if you're inv seriously investing mental energy and and your 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 time into like the the uh the policy of like taking away women's ability to vote like that's imagine dude like <laughs> You're like, like that's just what, such what? an unproductive use of but your almost, energy and time. Like, it's, I, I can't. Like, it's unreal. Like, right? It is. It's kind of. It's kind of maddening. Like, it's why because it so threatening to you. It makes no sense. How is it a threat? So, like, it makes no sense to me. It like, makes no sense. It's just angry people. That's what and you're not going to accomplish it. Like, a bunch of angry people. Like, I don't it, understand it. You know, like if some 15 year old is like fucking watching those videos and like, it's like, yeah. And it's like getting all into that. Dude, I guarantee you like 15 years from now, it's like, they're going to be so fucked up because yeah, yeah, yeah. nothing, yeah. all of these things that people are kind of promising them that they're going to do, like, these are like, it's not going to happen. Like, you're yeah. just sorry. You're not going to take away women's right to vote. You're yeah. also not going to like fucking like, like nationalize like every you fucking industry it. and usher yeah. in communism. So it's like, you know, it's like you got to fucking invest your time and energy into productive yeah. stuff that's yeah. you could possibly achieve you know and that's so there's just a part of it is it's really interesting it's like you know so as as fucking i love how as pompous and and high and mighty a lot of people on the fucking far left love to act about all of this shit mm -hmm. you know um you know at the end of the day you know they're they are victims, I want to say, of like we all are of the American I want it now culture. Yeah, and course. that's well, that's what it is. They want they want their perfect world and they want yeah. it now. Yeah. And and it's like, you know what? Like that takes if it's even fucking possible, yeah. takes generations. Yeah. And if it's even possible, you're going to be the fucking first one. You're never going to see it. You're never going to see that world that you want. You know, if that's the reality of it. And so, like, to me, that's the biggest thing about all of this stuff is the fucking utopias, right wing, left wing that are being promised to all these young people. It's so bad. damaging and unproductive. Yeah. And it's because of like this is clickbaity. You know what I mean? Yeah. It gets its lowest common denominator and it gets you fucking views because it's, exactly. it's again, it's like anti intellectual. It doesn't actually challenge people in a, in a, in a, to think and yeah. use their brain. It just yeah. it's there to just satisfy, tell them the things that they want to hear. Make them feel better, yeah. It's to yeah. make them feel better and make them feel like, oh no, you're right. Like that's 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 how it is. That's how it should be. And it's it's so interesting. It's so interesting. Um, the algorithm is smart. The algorithm knows how to yeah. feed your ego. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tells you yeah. the things that you want to hear too. And like, yeah. don't get me wrong. Like, I I feel like I got some of that shit too. So. Oh like, yeah, it's great. It's great when you see stuff that <laughs> doesn't challenge you at all, and it's like exactly what you want to see, and then and then even more fuels your anger and hate towards someone else. So it's, yeah. it's perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's exactly. Like, oh, yeah, this is why I hate the look at these idiots. You know. Oh yeah. One hundred percent. 100%. It's so yeah, it's so funny with this Hunter Biden shit. You know what I mean? It's like I totally, <laughs> I, I totally get why like the right, you know, like it. bangs on, <laughs> uh, bangs on it so much. But at the end of the day, I'm like, dude, I feel like this dude's honestly just trying to like ruin his dad's fucking present. Like he's actively trying to do it, and like everyone's covering everything up for him. Like this guy is like and, doing so much shit wrong. He's years. like, what do I have to do? <laughs> to I know. Fucking for ruin years. this guy. And like nobody, everyone keeps covering up all of his bullshit. Like oh, he's. Yeah getting away with everything it's like and there was some fucking tweet the other day it was just like hunter biden's lawyer caught smoking a bong in public or some shit and it was just like dude are you trying to make me like the guy like I come know, on exactly. i guess his lawyer is like this fucking like hippies like, all, all right like what are you doing like oh, i'm man. sorry man like it's just so fucking funny like because it's it just seems like to me it's almost like Hunter Biden just is trying to actively destroy his dad's legacy. He can't. And he's been trying. That's so and he's funny. trying, but like nobody will let him. <laughs> like like let the know. legal system's like letting him off for like I all know. of his crimes. Like like he's got like illegitimate children like all over the place. <laughs> he's got like gun charges that are like getting like thrown <laughs> out. Like he's leaving his fucking laptop <laughs> with like God knows what's on that yeah. thing. But apparently yeah. people are like alleging all sorts of like illegal shit. And then I'm like, oh, but like nobody does anything about it. And no, I'm like, dude, no. hey, like, it's you know, that, just, yeah, that no. just shows you like the power of like when 
when they want, they do not want somebody to like fail. <laughs> they no. will do everything no in their power what. No matter to what. make yeah. sure that they don't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like crazy, you it know. Nice. It must be right? nice. Must be nice. It's like <laughs> it's like there's got to be something. There's got to be some yeah. Dude some can't treatment. Be canceled, man. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> right. Like that's that's some. There's some bulletproof vest shit to that. I right. don't know what he's yeah. wearing. Like, but I don't know. I can't wait for him to run for fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's twenty old. years from there's now. No twenty years from now, he just like comes no out of the way. shadows, just like you know, if he puts away the crack, <laughs> put away the crack elected. pipe, guys. Guess he what? will one hundred percent get elected if he does. Oh, dude, I'm sure he would. Because and they would cover up all the shit he did. Like it's fucking hilarious. And we bring it up, we try to talk about it, and they'd be like, "No, yeah, that yeah. didn't happen." That's they'd so call every, all us all crazy, like <laughs> gaslight, mass gaslight. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty funny though. Like you know, who knows what's going on there? Maybe he is like totally. He loves his dad, and like. He really is just this big fuck up. And like, I don't know. To me, it really does seem like he does. He is trying to destroy his dad's yeah. legacy, yeah. which I, I would find hilarious. So I kind of do it hope seems, that's the case. Whatever he's doing, he needs to step it up. He's not doing right. enough. You know? he's, like, he's leaving coke in the White House. It's like it's not, this isn't enough, sir. Step it up. Gun charges. It's like what if he's the guy that like planted that bomb like at January six? <laughs> like they, we find out it's him. Like they would be like, oh well, you know, like we see. <laughs> He had a rough it's, year. He, he, he's really, dealing with a lot. Is it that bad? Yeah. <laughs> he's dealing with a lot of stuff. Like, come on. We see all the excuses. Yeah, yeah, be great. yeah. 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 So anyway, now we've been going for about an hour and a half now. I, I feel like you've given yeah, me a lot really. of time and no, I always I appreciate, appreciate it. it. So great, man. It was a um, great conversation. Yeah, we can uh we can definitely uh wrap it up, but like <laughs> as always, um it would be nice to do it again sometime and Yeah, man. I'm I'm uh, around. Just let me know. Yeah. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed it, go give me 5 stars on iTunes. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok at historic hole. You can harass me, talk all sorts of shit, um, but please don't dox me. That would be that would be cool. But yeah, we'll be back. We should be back next week with a normal episode, so to speak, as normal as they typically are. Anyway, thanks for listening.